After closely observing Susan Rothenberg's painting, White Deer, there were three principles and two elements of art present in the oil canvas painting that came together as a whole to develop emphasis to the viewer's eye. One of the elements of art present in the painting was color. Color was able to differentiate the shapes and abundance of space depicted in the artwork. Observing the color of the painting was important because the differences were simple to identify. As observing the painting, gray and white color make up the made up the majority of the spacious background. A scale of red and pink colors conquer the top right corner of the artwork that diminishes as it spreads to the bottom, intertwining to the white and gray space. Another element that was relevant was space. Space helped the artwork establish the area around the deer. The space was in large amounts on the left corner, left bottom corner, and right bottom corner but later begins to diminish by diagonally shifting the brush strokes toward the middle of the artwork where the deer are located. The space decreased as it headed toward the center, which directed the viewer's eye to the main idea, which was the deer. Throughout the observation of this artwork, there were several art principles illustrated. One of the most relevant principles is contrast. The contrast was held together within the deer. The deer depicts the most contrast because the dark brown and gray paint that outlines the deer form the spacious background. The colors of red and pink on the top right corner helps out a contrast that outstands the white and gray. Secondly, the principle of movement is in the painting that directed the colors and lines combined together. Color interacts with movement because the dark colors surrounding the area around the deer and also create shadows that depict running movements that the deers are making. Movement is also present in the color scales of white on the left and red and pink towards the right. Both scales of color depict a different movement. The white and gray that serves as the background provides a creamy-like movement with moderate strokes that minimize as they approach the deer in the center. However, the red and pink illustrate a whole distinct movement compared to the white and gray. The red and pink show a much rough and messy movement as if it was imitating splatters of dripping liquid from top to bottom on the right side. The last principle that is illustrated is the unity that make color and contrast come together. Color and contrast have unity because the objects in the painting are calming that do not astound the viewer or an object that is spontaneous. The, un the unity allows the artwork to be uniform. In conclusion, Rothenberg adds emphasis to the deer with the help of the manipulation of space, color, and contrast depicted in the painting that effectively illustrates her point of the white deer.